Father, we take just a moment. And as one body here, we want to say thank you. Thank you for being so good to us. Even when we made some mistakes, I'm so glad that you never looked upon us and frowned upon us, but you smiled at us and said, son and daughter, you can make it, you can do it. Thank you, God, for picking us up out of that miry clay, setting our feet on a rock to stay. And in that process, God, thank you for giving us a new praise. A praise that no one's seen because you've been that good to us. Father, we take a moment and we pray for our pastor. We speak strength into his life right now. We thank you, God, for blessing him. And if whatever he's doing right now, God, meet him right where he is. God, we thank you for healing his body. We thank you, God, that whatever he needs, you give it to him. We pray for every family member. Father, we thank you for being in this room now. We thank you that you're going to speak to us clearly tonight and that we're all going to walk out of these doors changed. Thank you for changing us tonight. Oh, someone needs to go ahead and thank him for changing. God, thank you for changing us tonight. And everybody said, Amen. Oh, scream at me. Amen. Amen. And amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm so excited to be with you tonight. My name is Elder Germain Brunson. Most people call me Elder G. I'm excited to be here. I'm so thankful that Pastor would trust me to be behind. Not so much his sacred desk tonight, but to be able to stand on this platform and be able to speak to you God's word. Here's the deal. We are in what I believe one of the greatest series yet. To me personally, it's called No Dry Season. No Dry Season. Someone say, No Dry Season. Say it just like me. No Dry Season. Ushers, if you could make yourself available, some people maybe, you know, you never had this book. You never read this book. Well, I'm telling you, this is a great book. Things in this book that was written years ago, I still see and hear pastor preaching about, and I've, it was great. I believe from this book came the message, raise the standard. Someone shout, I have to raise the standard. So if you want this book, or you want to, maybe, you know, someone that has a birthday this week. Listen, the ushers are making their way down the house. These books are $10. We want you to get one because you need to read this. I'm telling you. If you would like this book, throw your hands up. Wave it in the air. Wave it in the air like you just don't care. Don't act like you don't know that song. Don't act like you don't know that song. Well, as you see, I have a couple of, uh, of props with with us tonight that I believe is going to definitely help us out. This is what I need as the ushers are continuing to serve the people. Nudge your neighbor and say, neighbor, we are about to change tonight. We are about to change tonight. Oh, I know some of you didn't come in here for change, but it's going to happen anyway. So go ahead and tell your other neighbor and say, we're going to walk out of here different people tonight. Tell somebody else, we're going to walk out of here different people on tonight. So last week, our wonderful senior elder, Bill Canfield. Oh, somebody should have clapped their hands. Oh, no, 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 not yet. I'm going to set you up. Last week, our wonderful senior elder, Bill Canfield, <laughs> taught us an amazing message. He actually showed us through the word and also through some actions that took place on this platform, our heritage. And what took place years ago, we're seeing the manifestation of it now. When this book is broke down in three sections, it was dealing with the heritage. And tonight, we're going to learn about repent, refresh, and restore. Shout that with me. Repent, repent refresh, refresh, restore. restore. Shout it like you're the preacher and you want the people to respond how you would like them to respond. Say, repent. Yeah, refresh, refresh. And, restore. and restore. Turn with me real quickly to Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. 
The Acts of the Apostle, but pastor says it should have been titled the Acts of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. This first version I'm going to read comes from King James, and it reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Throw your attention up here to the large screens, and I'm going to read from the Message Bible, which kind of makes everyday sense. Look at it. Check it out. It says this, Now is time to change your ways. Turn to face God so he can wipe away your sins. Woo Pour out showers of blessing to refresh you and send you the Messiah he prepared for you, namely Jesus. Can someone just shout at me, Jesus? Jesus. Shout it again, Jesus. Jesus. So in this book, in the second section, pastor starts it off by talking about something we really don't like to talk about. But for us to be a Christian, we all had to go through it. It's simply this word, repent. Look at your neighbor and say, repent. But how about this? Look at your own self and say, self-repent. Repent. Oh, that, that, that. Something happened right there, didn't it? Because, see, normally what we like to do, we like to tell everybody else about their wrongs. Opposed to looking in the mirror and saying, hey, gee, you're wrong. Repent has so many diff different definitions. I'm just going to throw a couple out for the sake of time. The first one would be this, to express sorrow or regret. How about this? To feel bad about something that you were doing. <laughs> I like this definition. Watch this. Repent can also simply mean, and this is the Greek meaning of it. Guess what? It's deep too. It is deep. Say it's deep. deep. Not really. To change one's mind. Repent simply means to change your mind. Watch this. Most of the time when someone say repent, you need to turn your life around, right? You need to turn your life around and get off the path that you're on. You need to reverse your situation and just turn away from where you are. You need to turn your life around. But I want to submit to you tonight, there's a problem when you turn your life around. You went back in the place where you started. Oh, I'm going to do it again because I want you to see it. Turn your life around. But you're right back where you started. But I'm so thankful for Luke. He said something else. He said, repent and be converted. Oh, someone shout conversion. Say we have to be converted. Um, so many definitions for the sake of time to change one state of mind to another. Watch this, because some of you saying, okay, really? This is Sunday night service. You're on the platform and you're in your sweats? I didn't get that memo. You're in tennis shoes? I didn't get that memo. Well, there's a method to my madness. Stick with me. There's a lot of things that we all have in common. But there's three things I want to point out to you that I know we all enjoy. We love to be comfortable. <laughs> uh, we all love to eat. I'm sucking it in. <laughs> and we all love new things. Regardless if it's a new pair of shoes, shirt, watch, hat, haircut, hairdo, your nails did a new wig. It doesn't matter. We all love new things. Somebody say thanks. So to be converted, watch this, help me out. Here's the one that I love. It means to change from one form to another. Let me explain what some of this up here means, right? So sweatpants, sweatsuits, most people like to lounge around, watch television, like to go to the mall, like to go get their haircut. I enjoy getting a haircut. I miss my weekly haircut, so y'all excuse me, but I'm going to get it fixed, I promise you. I promise you I'm going to fix this hairdo. Um, 
Some people, watch this, love to exercise. We have any runners in the room? Have any people that like to lift weights? Have anybody that enjoy walking? How about this? Do we have anybody that enjoy sweating? <laughs> no. I hate sweating. I want she, it, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless her. Um, but for the sake of this example, some of us do enjoy exercising. If I could, I would play basketball every day. I can't because of time and also some things I'm waiting on the Lord to heal me in my foot, and I thank him for doing that. Amen. So when you go out and you play basketball, you're running, you're on your bicycle, you're lifting weights, what you're doing is you're giving off energy, right? You're losing something that was on the inside of you. You're putting out. Say, you're putting out. And one of the things that happens when you're putting out, when you're exercising, you get your heart rate up, you're, you're, you're sweating. You're getting rid of fluids. And what happens is you then begin to crave fluids. You get thirsty. Right? Okay, let me talk to the person that don't exercise. You like to sit at your desk. Oh, Lord, that's everybody, huh? You like to get on YouTube. You know, you like to... You know, Elder McKee, he's not in here. That dude has 15 computers, and I've seen him mastermind all 15 at the same time. I'll call you right back. I got, my dude, what are you doing? He has 15 computers. So that's what you like to do. You like to sit down at your computer. And what happens for the person that exercises, you get thirsty, right? Because you're sweating and salt's coming out your body. Now, here's the deal. When you're thirsty, you have a choice of what you would like to drink. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Y'all stick with me. See, what you could do is my favorite pop right now is Diet Mountain Dew. Now, what I could do when I'm playing basketball and it's 80 degrees outside and I'm thirsty and I won three games in a row, would I naturally... Because I do win. Ask Claron. Ask him. Destroy him. Kill him. Ask him. What I could do, Kyle, is I could run and grab a thing of water. Oh, I'm sorry. That's soda. Because, see, this is what naturally we crave. We Y'all just stick with me. I promise I'll get you out of here real quick. I could drink this pop. But the problem with me drinking that soda is that it makes me more thirsty. It doesn't put back in me what I lost. Y'all stick with me. Someone shout, repent, refresh, restore. Repent, refresh, restore. This clothes number one. Or, or, or how about this? Some say, you know, you need your electrolytes. You know, but the reality of it is if I drink this blue power aid, is still not what I need. What I need is what I'm made of. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. What I need is a little bit, I feel the Holy Ghost, it's a little H2O. Because that's what I'm made of. Now, what does the Bible say about H2O? Who can I make a long story short? It's the word. So when I'm going through life and I find myself in a difficult situation, what I need to do is repent, change my mind of what I put on the inside of me and put that what I need. Okay, let me talk to the person that don't exercise. See, when you sit in there and you're typing away, you get hungry. And what you like to do is grab a bag of chips and pop the chips in your mouth. You like to get you some candy. And you like to eat, eat you some candy. But the problem is, you're putting something on the inside of you that shouldn't be there. You got to change your mind. You need a banana. Because you lost some potassium on the way. Someone shout, repent, refresh, restore. Now here's the thing. Change your mind. Say, change your mind. Now, anybody that know me, whoo, I'm about to preach right here. I'm telling you right now, Nate, I'm about to preach right here, bro. Watch this. Anybody that know G, that's when we go out, because I ain't know, you know. 
You know I hate tomatoes. But scientists will tell you that tomatoes are good for you. God. Whew. So what you need to do, maybe you don't need this big one. You need to get one of them cherry ones and you need to. Watch this. Because <laughs> see, sometimes when you repent and change your mind, you start partaking of and using things and eating things and doing things that you don't like. But even though you're doing something you don't like doesn't mean it's not good for you. It doesn't make sense for you to get up in the morning and ask the Lord to forgive you, but it's good for you. It doesn't make sense for you to push your plate back and fast and pray and praise because it's not convenient. But nevertheless, it's still good for you. Someone shout, change your mind. So watch this. You repent. You be converted because see now when I start eating all these fruits and vegetables and all that stuff and drinking more water, now I become a convert. I'm not what I used to be. Oh. So when you start eating things that's good, it now becomes a part of your fabric. Oh, watch this, right? Let's continue the scripture. Repent. Be converted woo, so that your sins may be blotted out. Oh, simple definition for sin. You miss the mark. Uh, you make a mistake. You eat Cheetos. You eat Snickers. <laughs> I'm going to eat a Snicker. <laughs> You make a mistake, you make an error, right? Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm sorry for smacking and chewing with my mouth open around the world. I love you, boo-boo. She's watching, probably laughing, said that boy's a clown. So sin, I make a mistake, I make an error. Mm, watch this, because most of the time you think drinking, smoking, Fornicating, lying, stabbing, smacking people, being angry, and you consider that sin. Can I just throw something that God spoke to me in my prayer closet about sin? What about second guessing? Hmm. Questioning when you know if he delivered you then, why you're questioning that he can deliver you now. Sin, making a mistake. But I'm so thankful that when I repent, change my mind, and I become a convert, I'm addicted to what I eat now. Now I put myself in a position where my sins can be blotted out. Oh, blotted out. My time's going away from me. Blotted out simply means to wash away, to wipe away, to erase. But I love this one. It means to, 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 uh, to, to, to. Go ahead and show them. Cancel. So when you repent and you become a convert, you put yourself in a position where Jesus can cancel your mistake. Y'all ain't hearing me. The moment you ask Jesus to forgive you is the moment some things never existed before. Can I t I'm so thankful tonight that God is not a man. And here's the reason why I'm thankful, Chris, is because me and God can forgive, but he's the only one that has the ability to forget. Y'all ain't hear what I just said. God is the only one that can forgive. We can't forget. I forgive you for years, but if you do something that reminds me of what you do, it all comes back full circle. But I'm thankful that God, that when you ask him to forgive you, it's the moment it never existed before. Can I talk to somebody out here tonight? You've been worried about what you did back then, but the moment you asked God to forgive you was the moment he forgave you. But the shouting news is he forgot about it. My God, somebody needs to be happy that God forgot. 
What you did? I got to get out of here. Someone say, repent, refresh. Repent. Refresh means this. Oh, man. Are y'all enjoying this tonight? Refresh is the cooling. There's nothing like, you know, running outside and it begins to rain. Because that rain, the word, cools your hot body off. Y'all ain't hearing me. Uh, oh, can I give you this definition? Refresh. To make you feel more rested and energetic. Here it is. For those that don't exercise. Those that's on the computer. Like my dude, Nathan, who's on his phone right now working. When you're sitting at a computer and you type up something, right, and you get busy and you walk away for five to ten minutes, what typically happens? Your computer gets stuck. It doesn't move. It doesn't refresh, especially when you're watching a video. So what you have to do Go ahead and put that up there. You have to drag the mouse to this little thing that has one arrow going one way and another arrow going one way. Someone shout PC. But on a Mac, it's just a complete circle. Do, does anybody know what those signs mean? It means to refresh. Can I tell you what God's been doing in here tonight? He's been pressing your refresh button. <laughs> He's been hitting the refresh button. Now, here's the deal, and I got to get out of here. Most of you don't even need a refresh button. What you need is an upgrade. I hear a singer say, let me upgrade you. Y'all ain't with me in here. Reverse ain't up in here with me. Let me upgrade you. What does it mean to be upgrade? That means that you remove an older version of your software and replace it with something that has been enhanced. Can I tell you tonight that some of you are about to get rid of your desktop and you're about to get a laptop. Can I tell somebody in here that God's about to make you over. He's about to make you new again. He's about to give you strength again. He's about to make you look like you always wanted to look. You're about to have somebody say, upgrade ya. Look at your name and say, upgrade ya. Say, you ain't never seen me before. You ain't never heard me before. I'm a new creature. All things have been passed away and behold. Now watch this. Someone shout repent. Someone shout refresh, upgrade you, and then restore. I'm going to let them put this up on there while I'm about to walk off. And I want to simply give you a message that God gave me in three words. Go ahead. Let them see it. It's coming back. Your joy is about to come back. Your peace is about to come back. Your finances is about to come back. Your health is about to come back. Hey, mother, watch me. Your child is about to come back. Hey, business owner, your money is about to come back. You're about to get joy unspeakable and full of glory. Someone shout, he's about to bring it back. The glory is coming back. The goosebumps are coming back. The tears are coming back. The praise is coming back. The worship is coming back. I come to tell you, you are about to recover. Oh. And guess what? You can't get it back until he hits the refresh button and upgrades your software. And there's no way you can get an upgrade until you repent. Father, I thank you tonight that this is very simple for us. We change our mind. Amen.